Hi. In this video, I'll show you how to create stunning AI-generated images from text prompts directly in CapCut for PC. First, make sure that you are using the latest version of CapCut. You can always check and update CapCut manually. To create stunning images directly in CapCut, select the AI-generated tab in Media. Then enter a text prompt. A text prompt describes the image, which is then completely generated in the background by the artificial intelligence. At the moment, this service is completely free, but I wouldn't be surprised if the makers soon start charging for this service or offer a paid for a pro version. Read the terms of use carefully. If you do not accept them, this tool will not work. That's not very user-friendly. Pay me well, I would be happy to help you improve your product. Next, you need to log in in order to access the images generated by the AI. A few seconds later, all cap pictures were created based on my text description. The standard size of the image is 512 times 288 pixels. Press the HD button to create an HD version of the generated image with a size of 1024 times 576. Add the plus icon to add it to the timeline and your personal library. To get inspired and see sample results, click on the Showcase button. If you like a particular outcome, you can use the prompt used to create your own image. Press the Adjust button to change the creation style and image ratio. Use the slider to set the generation steps. A low step number will create pictures with very low details. I'm using a different prompt to show you the result with only one step. The result is rather hazy. 50 steps is the maximum setting. The calculation will of course be correspondingly slower. The result is much more detailed. To download an image to your hard drive, press the download button. You can check the picture dimensions in the details tab. If you're happy with the picture, create an HD version as already mentioned. So this was my video on how to create stunning images for free directly in CapCut using the built-in text prompt. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.